In this video, we're looking at a situation where you are given a mass of solute and you're asked to work out what the concentration of a solution would be, or you're given a concentration and asked to work out what mass of solute would be required. To do these sorts of calculations, you need to draw out both of your triangles. So first of all, we're drawing out our mass, moles, gram formula mass triangle and also our moles, concentration and volume triangle. If you look at the question, you're being asked to calculate the concentration, so you can circle that part. You've been given a mass of a particular chemical here, 10.1 grams. You've been given the name of the chemical, potassium nitrate, so you would be able to work out the gram formula mass. And you've been given the volume. 500 centimetres cubed. You've got two ticks in this triangle here, so we can work out the moles, which we can then transfer to our second triangle. Our first step is to work out the gram formula mass. So we have potassium nitrate, which is KNO3. K has a relative atomic mass of 39. Sodium, a relative atomic mass of 14. And oxygen is 16 multiplied by 3 as you have the 3 there. That gives you a gram formula mass of 101 grams per mole. We're now going to look at calculating moles. So you have moles equals mass divided by gram formula mass. So our mass in the question is 10.1 grams divided by the gram formula mass of potassium nitrate to give us 0 0.1 moles. That now means that we have a second tick for this triangle here. So we're trying to work out concentration. And that equals moles divided by volume. It's important that you change your volume into litres. So here you will have 0 0.1 moles divided by 0 0.5, which means you've got 500 divided by 1000 to give you 0 0.5 litres. If you carry out that sum, you'll find that you have a concentration of 0.2 moles per litre. Looking at another example and like possibly a slightly more everyday example of something you would actually do in a laboratory, you know the concentration of the solution that you want to make and you also know the volume that you want to make. You need to work out what mass you would have to weigh out to be able to make that solution. So again, draw out both of your triangles to start. And tick off what you've got and what you want to find out. So we're trying to find out mass. You've been given a concentration, you've been given a volume, you've been given the name of the solute that you're using, so you can work out gram formula mass. This triangle here is the one with the two ticks, so we can work out the moles and then insert that into the second triangle. So our first step is to work out our moles. So moles equals concentration times volume, concentration of 0.1. And again, divide your volume by a thousand. This will give you a moles of 0 0.05. Our next step is to work out gram formula mass. So calcium hydroxide is CaOH with brackets 2. So calcium has a relative atomic mass of 40. Oxygen is 16. This time it's multiplied by 2 from the outside of the brackets. And hydrogen is 1, again, multiplied by 2. That gives you a total gram formula mass of 74. So now we have mass equals moles times gram formula mass. So the moles is coming straight from this equation here. So 0 0.05 multiplied by the gram formula mass. Which is 74. 
So that gives you a total mass that you would have to weigh out of 3.7 grams.